Hi, I'm Lucas Mack, and welcome to another episode of The Golden Rule Revolution, where inspiration and purpose come from treating people like people and nothing less. Today, I want to talk about which voice are you listening to? I believe we have three voices inside of us at all times, and I know that may sound like a lot, but we can listen to one of three voices at any given time. The voice in our head, what our mind says. What do you think about this? Our heart, what do you feel about this? Or our gut, what is it? The reason I say what is it is I believe our gut is actually the voice of our soul. What our soul is telling us. The adage, trust your gut means trust your instinctual self, your real self. Then there's our hearts, which care deeply about protecting us. However, sometimes our feelings can disrupt or overrule our soul. And then there's the mind, which can outlogic any voice, be it our heart or our gut, and say, "Mm, no, that's that's not right, or I'm not going to do that, or I shouldn't do that, or all the harm that could happen, or we start to justify why we would or would not do anything. Well, I had a podcast episode um, that I did an interview for this morning, and I heard the most incredible um, one of the most incredible sayings regarding the soul. And it was Katie Lynn who is coming up on a future episode. But Katie Lynn said, it takes an incredible amount of force. It takes an incredible amount of work to suffocate the soul. And we specifically talked about people that drink too much or um, numb themselves with food or alcohol or um, any other means by which to feel better. But specifically, I was thinking about food and alcohol and where that resides in our gut. And it numbs our soul in a way. And there are so many people, I know I am one of them, that struggle with gut issues, struggle with their digestive health, um, the autoimmune disease, Um, There are so many people struggling. There are so many people struggling with gut health. Now, whether it's factual or not, I don't know. But what I believe is that our suffocating our souls and not listening to our gut has made our guts sick. Has made us sick has made me sick. In the past, I was so sick. My, um, my middle child, our son, is four, a little over four years old. And when he was a few weeks old, I collapsed at our house, went into full anaphylactic shock, was taken to the ER in an ambulance. And that happened um, two weeks after I had collapsed at a business conference down in Tacoma. I was really sick and it all boiled down to, I was diagnosed with an autoimmune disease and that being a result of never listening to my gut because I didn't like myself because of all the pain and not knowing how to process the pain from growing up. And this is, why I am coming on today to talk about the three voices and which voice is the most beneficial to listen to, our mind, our heart, or our soul, our gut. I believe 100% unequivocally the most important voice to listen to is our soul. But our soul is that still, small, quiet voice that isn't going to raise its voice very loudly. First of all, it doesn't need to because our soul, I believe, knows 
itself. It knows how powerful it is. It doesn't need to raise its voice. However, when we don't honor our gut, we don't honor our soul, we become sick, not only emotionally, mentally, but also physically. We need to get healthy both emotionally and physically in order for us to go out into the world and help heal another. I have worked incredibly hard on the emotional side and on the physical side over the past two years, and I have gotten healthy. And that's why I can get on here and say the three voices, our mind, our heart, our soul, all want our attention. And our soul, when we listen to our gut, will always take us down the path of health. Will always take us down the path of health. But our heart can be disruptive sometimes. It can, we can feel like we want to do something. I want to eat sugar. Believe me, I miss sugar. But if I gave into my feeling, I would become more sick. And my mind could say, well, it's just a little bit of sugar, but then it affects my body immediately. So my mind can justify for or against. My heart can compel me or how oh, I feel like having that right now. But our gut, our soul, says no, you don't need that. Well, what do we do when our guts are sick, which makes our feelings worse, and then we, I mean, I'm including we in this, but in the past, historically, when I felt worse, I would just numb out watching TV or I was drinking too much. I was eating too much. And it wasn't until I really focused on one word, health, health for my soul before health for my body. When I focused on health, everything became aligned. My soul all of a sudden grew. It expanded. It was almost like I felt gr grateful to myself. My soul felt a sense of gratitude that it was being listened to. It was being honored. So what about you? Do you know what I'm talking about when I'm saying mind, heart, our gut, slash soul? Is this the first time you've thought of it? Maybe the first time you've heard it? Or you completely reject what I'm saying? How are you dealing with your gut? How is your gut? How is your soul? How is your heart? How is your mind? And which do you default to listen to? Do you go with your emotions and your feelings? Do you go with your mind? Are you an analytical mind? Which really sometimes separates your mind from your feelings? Or do you acknowledge both of those, but sink down deeper into that, the depth of who you are, of who you be, of how you be? I encourage all of us to listen to our soul, to dig down deep. And sometimes we have to do a lot of work to uncover what's caused us to be the way we are. But the work is worth it. And the freedom on the other end is, is everything. And I believe for myself, the vernacular that I use, freedom and health are synonyms. Just like for people that know me and I, I talk a lot about this, truth and story are synonyms. Because my background, I was a broadcast journalist. I was on TV. I would show up and I would observe. I would ask the five questions, who, what, when, where, why. And then I would tell the truth from those five questions, which were a story. So story and truth are synonym. You might think story and 
believe, you know, your vernacular might be fiction. My view is it's truth. And you know the truth, it will make you free. You know your story, it will make you free. Similarly, health and freedom, in my view, are synonyms. That love gives truth permission to come forth, resulting in personal freedom and personal health. So, hopping on to say, I encourage all of you to listen to your gut. To get to know yourself at such a level that you can recognize when your mind is talking to you, when your heart's talking to you, and when your soul is whispering to you. When we operate out of the soul, we will be less rash to make decisions. We will be less harsh when we communicate. We will not be as self-grandizing, all of us as human beings, when we connect with our soul. And regardless of what particular label that society wants to place on us or we have placed on ourselves, the particular that separates us, male, female, tall, short, Democrat, Republican, I mean, you, you, you know the labels. Whatever label that you put on yourself or you allow society to put on you, the one thing that unites us, labels divide us, but the one thing that unites us is our soul. That's it. Think about this. If everyone you knew was burned in a fire but didn't die, but we all were sitting in wheelchairs, we would not even be recognized as our physical body. But who we be, who our soul is inside of us, would still be the same. The person that we actually are when we get burnt in a fire is who we are right now. That person, the real you, the real me, will will not be as fulfilled if the mind and the heart were the only voices ever listened to. But if our soul is listened to now, if we train ourselves to go deeper, to sit within ourselves, it doesn't matter what our physical attributes allow us to do. Our soul connected to our breath is the greatest value. And if we exercise and grow and honor our gut, honor our soul, listen to it, cultivate our true self now, it doesn't matter what circumstance ever takes place. It doesn't matter what someone else does to us. It doesn't matter what accidents happen or don't happen. I mean, it doesn't matter because we are free, because we are healthy, all because we listened to our gut. As always, I would love it if you commented, shared your view of this video in the comments below. Let's have a dialogue. Let's have a discussion. Let's join together. This is the Golden Rule Revolution. Look, I am on a mission to see the hurting in this world get healing and the healed go out and heal others. I believe that those of us who have been healed hold an ingredient that the world needs. It's an extra additive. It is the secret sauce to change society for the better. When we've gone through the worst of the worst, we are fueled to uncover the best of the best and pull people out of the darkness and walk them down a path of healing and freedom. So if you are hurting right now, for whatever reason, message me, private message me. Let's talk. I would love to see your health, your freedom take place more than anything. And if you have been hurting in the past, but have got healing, I would love for you to share in the comments below 
what helped you get healing? Was it therapy? I believe in therapy. I, I think every human being on planet Earth should at one time in their life for a consistent period of their life be in therapy. Here we've talked about physical health and emotional health and how we go to coaches and doctors, you know, personal trainers and doctors and to deal with the physical health. But what about the emotional health? Well, that's where therapy comes into play. But whatever you have done to get healed, maybe you had a personal trainer, uh, a personal coach, a life coach, or you've gone to a seminar, emotional intelligence training, whatever you've gone through, I would love to hear what you have gone through. And in your sharing, you help others get healed. It's beautiful. The ripple effect continues on and on and on. It's a pleasure having you watch. It's a pleasure having you on. And I look forward to talking with you on the next episode. This is the Golden Rule Revolution. And I'm your host, Lucas Mack. And I'll talk to you then.